I'm on my way to meet Cyrus Brocha, the original funny man of India. And I'm meeting him at Cafe Sundance, an old hangout of his. I'm very excited to be meeting him, but a little apprehensive, because considering his reputation, I really hope he doesn't make a buckra out of me. Hi, Cyrus. Uh, namaste. How are you? So, like, do I have to get up? No, please. It'll sir. take me half an hour and the whole show will end. Okay, That's why. How are you? Please call me uncle. You look so young. Okay, Uncle yeah. Cyrus, how are you? Very good, thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. So, why, Uncle Cyrus? Are we meeting at Sundance? Hey, uncle, what's happened to my life? I need something stronger. Bartender. Uh, well, uh, you know, this is the part of Bombay where I grew up, or I'm still growing up. Um, it's South Bombay. My school, college, in my early working, advertising was nearby, all walking distance actually. How did you get into television? I went for an audition just four buildings away for a play in 1985. Okay, I was 14 and my I think my parents thought that uh, either I was overstimulating myself in the bathroom or what because they were worried that you know I was doing odd things. And so they finally said, why don't you go and you know try your hand at this because you a little bit uh, as you know I'm a little hyper. So I went to do this audition, it's just ivory in building, four buildings down from Sundance and I rang the bell and the door opened and there was nobody there and then I banged into a lady and fell over because she's really short and that was Pearl Padamsi who was like this big theatre doyen and that was a lovely moment, you know when these dramatic moments happen you know there's some karmic connection you know when you fall over a lady for no reason whatsoever and I was not tall either and so from there it started so this street actually is where I started my career it started with play and then uh, you got into those days there Beijing were, and then you but there was Bakra King <laughs> like no no how? listen uh, there was nothing there was just plays and there was school and then there was college and there were more plays and then suddenly this TV, radio boom happened first okay at least for Mumbai 1993 if I remember right uh, August 15th was the FM launch you were just being born or something like that and uh, your birth being greater and then the second biggest thing that year was the birth of radio FM and so we started doing this FM thing and earning little money it was about five six grand a month but it was for a 18 19 year old it was good money 20 year old whatever I was and uh, then from there this TV thing started slowly I think for me primarily the lucky thing is that we had all these accented guys and very good looking guys like Danny McGill and uh, Andy Ingabet and all this on who were you know and then the Indian guys also were just they wanted normal people suddenly you realize television you need normal people because most people are ugly and they have to relate with ugly people that's why you better be careful I gotta warn you all right uh, ugly people have a much better chance because most people go, ah he's on TV I could be on TV so I'm representing him so look at the graph of India, 90% not very nice looking. So that's very important. Right? I think I films is different. You go straight to films. Okay. Pretty people should go to films. TV, let us Ram Kapoor and me handle. Cyrus but has you given respect. me a I love compliment. Ram. But uh, considering his reputation, like I said, I don't know if he's serious or he's just taking my case. No, or no, he's it's joking, true. But it's I all. I, I, listen, I have no work. I spend my whole time thinking about these things. <laughs> Thank you. It's it been it. great to talking to you. I'm going to continue having my coffee with Cyrus because uh, I don't think I can be serious anymore or try to be serious. And I'm enjoying this conversation. I'm sure you will too. Having coffee with this hilarious man was the perfect end to what had been an extremely enjoyable trip.